Thank you for joining me today on this webinar by Pythian. Today, we're going to talk about database modernization, effective tools and techniques to help you migrate your databases to the cloud. I'm Joey Jablonski. I lead up the global solutions team here at Pythian. I've been in the technology industry for over 20 years, building and operating analytical and operational data platforms. We've seen a lot of change in the past 20 years. And we continue to see change. Today, we're going to talk about some of that. Gartner predicted it right. Back in 2020, they called that many organizations would effectively move their database platforms to the cloud. And today, we see a high percentage of operational and analytical data stores in the cloud. We continue to see more databases being built in the cloud. We see more migrating that direction. And we see customers that have taken the first step to move now looking to also continue their journey by modernizing those platforms. The Google Cloud Platform brings a variety of unique capabilities to you and your organization as you look at the best place to host and manage your database platforms. They bring a set of fully managed services that scale without limits. Many of these services were first built by Google for internal consumption, so we've already seen the scale at which they can operate globally, bringing those services available to you in an always-on fashion. They give us a set of services that only are consumed and paid for as we use them. No more investment in capacity that we don't need only paying for capacity at the time when we require it. And finally, a set of architectures that allow us to move our data and our applications as needed based on our workloads and our business needs. We see a variety of unique capabilities at scale on the Google Cloud Platform, specifically through our database platforms. We see services like Spanner that can scale to billions of requests. We see services like Bigtable and BigQuery that can scale to many, many petabytes or exabytes of data available to users for analysis. We see services like Firestore that enable our end users to engage with those databases and get rich, fulfilling content and data at a very high level of performance in our modern digital applications. But as we start to talk about specific database technologies, Oracle in particular, there's a unique set of challenges that come to our organizations as we migrate them to the cloud. We see a list of challenges that include managing versions and patching. We see dependencies on specific chipsets or hardware. We see a rethink that's required around the consolidation of database to server ratios. We see many questions that have to be resolved around Oracle licensing and how we manage that over time. And then finally, we have many questions about how do we minimize and manage downtime during the migrations to ensure that our end users and our applications are not negatively affected. As we engage with our Oracle customers and we talk about what alternatives we have for the future of their Oracle environment, we really look at four different alternatives, depending on the unique needs of their organization and their specific requirements for operational uptime, performance, and security. We look at options like BMS or bare metal, the ability to simply move our databases to a bare metal platform and continue with a traditional architecture. We look at alternatives around GCVE or other VMware type options, where we can start to consolidate, gain some operational efficiency, but still use a relatively traditional enterprise infrastructure architectural pattern. We look at tools like GCE that start to look like sole tenant, but on top of shared infrastructure. We start to gain some of the advantages of public cloud as we go down this path. And finally, for those customers that are looking for true modernization of their environment, transformation along the way, we have cloud native services like Alloy DB and Cloud SQL that allow us to migrate their data and leverage an entirely different platform as part of our journey. One such customer that we looked at the different alternatives and finally settled on a pattern was a public facing website, VARS leveraging Oracle on the back end to support a large number of transactions and a very high level of availability. This customer of ours was using traditional big iron Unix servers, traditional large amounts of memory for web and application hosting, sitting on top of Oracle, sitting in a leased co-location facility with a lease that was coming up for renewal soon. As we sat down with this customer, designed the appropriate target state architecture, and talked about the migration considerations, we had several requirements that came into play. While some downtime was tolerable, it was very minimal, and it was reserved for late at night and off periods. The overall project timeline had already been set by the data center exit, by the lease coming up, not being renewed. And then finally, we had a variety of requirements from the customer around performance optimization, target metrics for the performance of the environment. We were able to successfully migrate them to a Postgres environment. We were able to modify the schema of their database to meet their performance requirements and tune their SQL queries to ensure a very high level of performance for the end users that were accessing these publicly available websites. We started this journey with this customer by doing a workshop. This workshop is available for you and your organization as well with no paperwork and no cost. The goal of this workshop is to partner, get a better understanding of your Oracle workloads, the requirements for them in their target state environment, 
and start to discuss what options for migration are available to you and your organization that meet both your technical and your functional requirements. This is a full day session and we break it into the morning and afternoon. In the morning, we talk about specific use cases to your organization. We talk about best practices through the lens of success stories. We talk about why and how we would like to migrate these Oracle workloads. And then we have a series of open discussions as well as quick labs. Start to get your team hands-on experience with these tools and services in the cloud. In the afternoon, we shift gears a little bit. We talk about your specific environment, the tools and processes we would use to migrate, the methodology and the appropriate steps for the migration and then leverage an open discussion to whiteboard our dependencies and our phases for your migration. Again, continuing with some quick labs so we can also continue with the hands-on portion of access for your team. We've done many of these migrations for our customers. We bring methodologies, we bring experience, we bring teams that are capable of partnering with your organization as part of the move of your Oracle workloads to the cloud. In addition to this workshop that we've offered today, we bring a set of capabilities around technical assessment, piloting, and deployment the necessary engineering and operational skills to partner with your team to both plan, test, and execute on the migration of your Oracle databases. We additionally bring our operate teams, our operational excellence and continuous transformation capabilities to ensure that your environment is managed and meets the appropriate SLAs for availability and reliability. I encourage you, reach out, schedule your workshop today. We're available to discuss what this means for your organization and how you can really take your data environments to the next level. Thank you for your time today. We look forward to hearing from you.